So really good collars that you can build. Punk, we love pink punk. It's generally cyberpunk with neon flare. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and create a sand slot. We'll go for easy and make this look good. Make us look good. Year 2099, the city of conglomerate is at war. Sector 451 has become the central battlefield. Corrupted corporations control every criminal activity. Making arrangements with gangs of outlaws. This is an interesting concept. Um, in extreme measure, the city's government has assigned special powers to private agencies. So they actually centralized capitalism. And I've never seen anybody actually do that. Um, Shadowrun did it a little bit. Um, but it was still the shadowy hand of the government. Um, so they have legal use of battle clones. They're um, expecting, you know, they put this expectation on corporations to clean up the city. Um, so that they become active participants um, interior to government instead of exterior, you know, agencies. The graphics were good. Is ready to oh, awesome. The operator will open radio contact with the squad as soon as you're ready. Alpha team, can you hear me? I've analyzed the area. I suggest you deploy at the edge of District 756. So you wind up with these battle. The lab is located in the northern area, but it'll be well defended. Watch out. You put Remember together the mission a team. Objective. Find the virus before it's synthesized and put on the black market as a bacteriological weapon. I'll stay in touch via radio. Good luck. You wind up with interesting characters because it's corporate. It's all corporate crime. The corporate crime is so dangerous that um, it's somehow become also, you know, government crime. It's hard to explain. I don't feel stymied by it, though. That's what I like about ping pong, because they just go in this weird direction that makes you feel strangely comfortable. It's, it's weirdly casual. It has an old-timey feel to it. Um, and it relies heavily on, on me on there. Hack an enemy or an ally to interface with this core system. That was another interesting thing is this was um, one of the rare games where it acknowledged the um, dependency or symbiosis with tech and allows you to physically hack, you know, an opponent. So really different, really different take on the genre in general. But on combat in particular, um, they are jobs. They don't pretend that they're not. You know, you wind up with a team and you have to pick a syndicate that you work with because it's a corporation, so there's branding. It's the strangest thing. You have a certain amount of days. That ha hasn't happened since the old days. We did just run into that on um, playing old strategy games um, where it was astounding the amount of time they gave you to finish. You know, it did not have any sense of urgency. And when people get side quests in these new games, or new games, newer games, you know, they didn't have this experience before it necessarily where you're like, oh, it might take two years if you've played Magic Candle or something. So like I said, weirdly good graphics. This one had a Hawaii 5 -0 sort of feel to it. I don't know why I found it so entertaining, but I did. Everything from the fact that I am clearly working with a heads up display to the fact that corporate took over. Headquarters, did you receive the images? Director, can you hear me? Okay. Good, the line has been established correct correctly. The squad is ready and waiting for your orders. I'll follow the agents closely to give them support. Enough talk, the game is on. The squad needs to stick together. Splitting up could be fatal. It is a list of commands. Got it. Let's go. And remember the main commands. So you can um, strafe, but you can only move if your camera circles all the way around. I'm thinking, <gasps> wait, hold on. My camera has to move all the way around. Why is it not letting me do that? I have to examine this. <laughs> How do I change my camera angle? That's not good. I do not want to be in combat, but I can't. Yeah. Weird. How'd I jam? Wait. There we go. Cue that up. City streets are dangerous. Gangs, gangs of criminals often try to stop agents. Don't worry, I'll explain how to deal with them. Get close to an enemy squad. Combat begins. Timeline shows the action order. Each character will act based on their initiative. The top middle of the screen is find new skill sets. Select an enemy target and shoot with right trigger. 
We can hit Slugger here, who just punched us. Get him back. Be nice. Select a skill with A, B. So I select my... Oh, okay, right. So this is where you can, like, hack or so on. These drugs, um, they integrated that uh, where they put you do stimulants. Shield recharge. I don't really want to use anything but a... How about hacking in the skip turn? Ability. Turn the break trigger. Got it. Select the target. Probably just needs you to use the button in the rotating screen. Certainly went faster. keep shooting. Mouse looks like she's one of my um, eventual mages, basically. A sort of hacker decker. It's gonna be all lightweight since they're thugs. I love the fact they had an advertisement. But remember never to underestimate your enemies. It could oh, too. It doesn't look like I am. Fine later. I definitely have some sort of this do? Found a resources module. You can acquire interesting stuff. Cool. I'm not sure why I don't have a, a regular swivel. It looks like I don't. Neurological implant. Yeah, like I said, there's this weird sort of where it lets you can check the mis mission of here it can change. So this isn't gonna let me cast. And that isn't either. That apparently has nothing to do with my eventual objective. Guns and weapons advertisements. I can look around, but I have to use something to um, change my actual shared processor. I wonder if that's like um, companion equipment. Adult content. Oh, okay. We do apparently want to go here. We want to go there. Okay. What is this? Not the elevator. So there's a lot of local color, um, but they're pretty straightforward as to your mission objective. Pretty easy off the start. They're going to ease, ease you into it. Take a look here and see what can and can't be done, basically. We are waiting. We're approaching the area. I feel good about it. I feel right. <laughs> Obviously, we're doing this right. We are, have made our first mission objective already. Cool. So we're inside of another corporation. Um, off the drop, I don't think this removes anything technically. Press back to open it. Okay, so you can do a map. What would turn me sideways? That's straight. My character, there it is. Okay. Duh. That'll make it a whole lot easier to use the controller. Doesn't really look like you can do um, anything with the terminals. I was hoping I would be able to hack into them. Okay. Seems locked. We can certainly try to hack it. That was interesting, and you can uh, close doors can be open in various ways. Some require magnetic keys, others need you to find an activated terminal. All closed doors can be hacked. Select an agent to hack. Okay. Requiem Edge. Two is like the best option. To open the door, rotate the logic disks and ma match the shapes. Okay. You have to act quickly. Oh. Oh, the... Oh, that was it? Holy cow, I thought they said it would be hard. God, I'm good, is what I mean. Look at me go. That looks like it's gonna be a fight. Great graphics. 
flying mini game. I mean, I want to be able to hack up everything. We're gonna um, try to hack, hack first. the enemy system. Open the special action list. Hack an enemy or ally. Click the hack. Interesting. So it, you know, lets you in on uh, her stats, etc. Just an ambush, which is good. Remember to check your agent batteries. So that requires a certain amount of technological influence. Can be a real problem. Shoot them with the right trigger. Or you can just go in guns blazing, it looks like, and take the traditional approach, which is... What's that gonna be for me? She's interesting. Might as well see what she's got, you know? I'm apparently supposed to be scouting these people, so I do need to put together a team. But you have to line up your stuff, um, so even though they have the rudimentary um, strafing system, didn't really bother me because of the design. Um, it does let you scan a flat interface, and the graphics were so good that it, it just was okay with the fact that it made me move my feet back and forth occasionally. So let's see what this is. Doesn't look like the virus sample. What is this? That I can use? Are you serious? So I recharge my batteries, but this I can't. That's strange. All right, well, I mean, who might argue? Let's try and get through the next door. Yes! Door is protected by an advanced door. I can open it, it's gonna take some time. Try using a scanner to search the area for shared processor units. Press R to scan the area. There it is, device we can loot. Try extracting the SPU. So you have additional quests and so on that pop up. That's interesting. You're actually going to have to um, access this area, and I'm not seeing how. Oh, okay, so it is this door. Why is it not really offering me an option? Did I do something correctly? It does not seem so. Do I have to? Touch a part of the door. Where's my map button? Find the virus sample. There's the door. Point of interest. Over there, and then we're also over here. And that's about it. So it didn't really give me a whole lot. And it's not showing me uh, the target that they want me to hit. This sucker is for some reason lit up like the 4th of July. I wonder if this is, oh, that's what they want me to do. 34, 37, it's gonna be best of this. Shared processor units are vers versatile processors you can install in your agent's equipment to give them bonuses. Cool. So resistance to radiation, resistance to stun, and so on. Cut the connectors, pushing A on the SPU's panel with the right timing. It's to the device temperature. If it reaches a maximum, the device will melt. Interesting. <gasps> I only got one. You seen it? I hit him. Holy cow. I gave it a C minus. Next time, try to be more precise. You're able to, like, you can't fail. So it's fine. I Sensor detected the presence of the bomb. Not good. The bomb is active. We need to hurry. So anyways, link in the description below if you like this sort of thing. This is an incredible game for it. Um, two thumbs way up. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee delivered to your door will put your logo on it on merch for nothing bucks. Or you can support the Pirate Queen. We love our logo. We love that you guys are always along for the ride, you know? So slap our logo on everything. Um, also down there is coffee. KOFI. Buy this chick a coffee one dollar make me smile. It's a lot of fun, uh, the social media site. Or if you're more interested in the traditional Patreon style subscription, we did sign up with Patreon. 
um, or excuse me, the Twitch style subscription, you can get for Patreon. So the link for our Patreon is down there. Just kind of do it up. Um, well, I keep shielding mouse. I really did mean to attack there. My goodness. Either way, um, we love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. It's a lot of fun. It's a mile a minute. So definitely hit the subscribe. That's totally free. If you hit subscribe and then you hit the bell down there, what it'll do is it'll pop you up a little thumbnail. And that'll let you know, you know how much time you're going to spend with us. If you're going to do the 10, 15 minutes. And, um, you know, just check out what game we've, what have we found for you, friend? What have we done? And kind of stay on top of everything that's going on with gaming. Find really good games at really good prices. We try to keep it under 20 bucks. So if we are picking up a different type of game, um, then we go to a site called Fanatical. So it is either a game that is constantly on sale, which also happens on Steam, obviously, or it's a game where we see that it constantly has a fun on Fanatical. Everyone, um, most of them also go on sale on Steam. So you can almost always get the game for 20 bucks. And that's really what we see going for there. So it's a lot of fun. Um, come along for the ride. We do free games as well. A lot of portfolio work from indie devs. Um, we work really extensively with the community who will find their portfolio work. I'll let you support them that way. We just play it and talk to their friends and so on. So they do really great work. Um, we help them with locational marketing, etc. So you can also find really great games first. If it's developing gaming, that's what's going into the next gen of these guys are bringing their tables. A lot of the times that doesn't happen at big corporations. They tend to stay within their brand. So the new guys will bring them stuff, you know, with great graphics upgrades, with great um, narrative upgrades, interface upgrades, that sort of thing. So, <coughs> I don't know if they're going to be able to kick this guy out. He's just like a bruiser. I'm just banging on him. You die in every video, so. Oh, the bomb went off? No! Oh, and it happened! It happened! This was a tough one. Um, I had originally thought that you were destined to die. It turns out you can beat it. You have to um, really be able to loot the place and, you know, work on your timing and that sort of thing. Um, so it is very difficult, um, but it is doable. Apparently people have done that. <laughs> Who knew? So, like I said, link in the description below. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. Smash the subscribe button, hit the bell, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, corporate, come and get me. Come and get me. I was a bad kid. Tried to run a job. Went south. It's now the next day. Government, come get me. Drag me down to the military hall. Take my ah, photo. You finally arrived. Have a seat, please. So you completed the last training mission yesterday. You failed. Every agent was killed by the bomb. Oh no. But you need to know that this mission was a test. It was impossible to beat. Oh, you can't. It's a classic Kabanashi Maru situation. The objective is not to beat the scenario, but to put you in a no-win situation and see how you react. And you did great. I am a positive person, So starting person, today, sir? you'll be assigned to a new agency in Sector 451. Well done, Director. Team player here. Cool. So they send me in. Um, Welcome, Director, to your Whoa. new agency's headquarters. I'm Clarice, your office assistant. Nice to meet you. I'll let her hair. If you don't mind, her hair. we need to fill out a couple of documents before you take office. So I get to run my own team. Cool. So I passed. I get to pick out which um, agency I want to work for. Uh, what it's named, my logo. Great. Everything will be recorded what? and all sent my to the administration like department. That. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Here you will meet your current agent's squad. Are they bots? I heard that we had bots. Really just an interesting game. If you stuck around after the credits. Weird setup. And you just run these, you know, really cool jobs like that. Where it's a combo of mini games, the turn-based combat, um, and hacking. You know, where they really shake up the hacking. I, I 
I have to go back and figure out what went wrong with short circuiting that out because it seemed like a simple where you line it up and hit it. Um, but obviously I was missing something in the arcade style there. Obviously. <laughs> Cloning Center. Hi, Elise. Ms. Delacroix, do not think that you were doing the wrong thing here. <laughs> Help you create my first squad. Oh my gosh, okay. So what, hold on, what happens here? Splicer. The clone's background is not yet available. So I do eventually get their background. Interesting. It just tells me what kind of agent they are right now. Anything else? Not a whole lot I can do. Weird. I wonder why, uh... Wait, it's not letting me do much the way it is. But... So I'm gonna have to select my current agents. Oh, okay, what it'll do is let me um, juice them off, that sort of thing. That's weird. So these were, it was a simulation that I went in originally. Now they're creating the clones. So I basically just kept him, but I can mutate them as well. Alright, let me, hold on, let me get in here. Death shot. Uh, accurate aim as a defense skill, spark as a defense skill. Blast. Spark and accurate shot. And I can't unlock any, I have to go with normal TNA. Eventually it looks like I'll get rid of them, that's so heartless. And then they do an accurate to life clone, that is so cool. I would link in the description, but I definitely recommend on this team, especially for the players. So they, yeah, and they bring out a real clone of the actual person, you can always just change your name. Weird. 